If you've been following the news recently, you may have heard that the social media platform X updated its content policies to allow pornography on the site. You heard me right, folks. Porn on X. <laughs> well, stuff like this just gets me thinking. I'm getting older. Sometimes I look around, I don't even recognize the world I'm living in. <laughs> Things are changing every day, and uh, not always for the better. So I thought I'd take some time to talk about how things were just a little bit more simple back in my day. Back in my day, you didn't go on X to look at porn. Because back in my day, we didn't call it X. We called it Twitter. <laughs> and was there porn on Twitter? Oh, 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 buddy, it was a treasure trove of porn. <laughs> and the best part was, you didn't even have to look at it. Look for it. You simply tweeted any old thought that might be in your head, and the next thing you knew, a slew of helpful young ladies would show up in your replies, generously offering up nudes right there in their bio. <laughs> That's where they kept them. Back in my day, we weren't staying away from Lunchables because they had high levels of lead. No, sir. Back then, we stayed away from Lunchables because of everything else in them. <laughs> you seen those things? Hell, lead might be the healthiest thing in those <laughs> little ham circles. Mmm. Mmm, that's good lead. Back in my day, the Pope wasn't using homophobic slurs in a meeting with bishops. No, sir, back in my day, when the Pope told gay people they were going to hell for loving one another, he did it with respectful language. <laughs> like a gentleman. Like a weird, old, unmarried gentleman in a dress. <laughs> back in my day, politicians like Christy Nome weren't shooting puppies. Back in my day, politicians were shooting their friends, because... They were out quail hunting and had bad eyesight. <laughs> That's right, I'm talking about Dick Cheney. If you don't remember Dick Cheney, he was like Elmer Fudd, if Elmer Fudd loved waterboarding. <laughs> Sorry I had to bring up Christy Nome, buddy. <laughs> Back in my day, we weren't having the Summer Olympics in Paris, sacre bleu. Back in my day, we weren't having the Summer Olympics at all because someone ate a bat and the whole world got sick or a bat bit someone, whatever, I'll be honest. I'm still a little fuzzy on the specifics of the pandemic. All I know is if I see bat on the menu, I'm passing. I don't know where. Arby's? Back in my day, cows weren't getting the bird flu. Cockadoodle moo. <laughs> Back in my day, cows got mad cow disease and birds got the bird flu, the way Jesus intended it. <laughs> None of this muddling around, mixing it up stuff. That's the way we liked it. And humans weren't worried about getting bird flu either. Excuse me. See, now, Rusty, I understand how if you had bird flu, the joke as I understand it is my sneeze would be a quack. But why would it be so much longer than the sound of a human sneeze? Kendrick Lamar weren't beefing, Biggie and Tupac were. I don't quite remember how that ended up for them, but I'm sure everything's fine and dandy now. Beef away. Beef away, fellas. Back in my day, we didn't have summer reading lists for adults. Didn't need them. Oh, sure, you took a hardcover book to the beach with you, but it wasn't to read. You had your phone for that. The book was for when the seagulls came after you for your french fries. You'd go 
Get out of here, you dumb bird. You get your own fries. At the same time, you know, you can't blame the birds for wanting to eat. You know, I usually don't empathize with the birds. I, I wonder what it is that's getting into me. I'm, just, I'm still mad about it. You know, because in my head, it was like, hot quack! Like, why would the sneeze, why would a duck, is that how a duck sneezes, were to believe? <gasps> Where'd your energy go? <gasps> Everybody's just playing with dials today, turning it up, turning it down. What's going on? What's going on, Rusty? <gasps> well, I'll tell you this much. If I know anything about the rule of threes, there's going to be one more sneeze coming. <laughs> Back in my day, Trump wasn't running against Joe Biden for president. No way. Back in my day, Biden was running against Trump. And some people even thought Trump should win. Oh, sure, they'll tell you gas was cheaper back then, but that's only because no one was driving anywhere on account of that bat that somebody ate, or did a scientist release a bat? And was the bat made of science? Whatever, I don't remember. Back in my day, Trump wasn't falling asleep in court during his trial for paying hush money to Stormy Daniels. He was falling asleep in bed next to Stormy Daniels. <laughs> After about 30 seconds of strenuous exercise. Back in my day, the house from Home Alone wasn't being sold for $5.2 million. No, sir. Back in my day, if you wanted the house from Home Alone, you just went in and took it. I mean, who's gonna stop you? The whole family's out of town for the holiday. <laughs> oh, what? There's a kid home. Well, sure, that's a snag, but he's an eight-year-old boy. What's the worst he could do? What's the worst he could do, Marv? <laughs> Back in my day, people weren't using chat GPT to write comedy for late night shows. Terabytes. Back in my day, television comedy write more like Donald Trump Chipotle bathroom. Good evening, everybody. This has been a closer look. Goodbye. <laughs> ben? Ben, did you use chat GPT to write this script? No, me script writes out. <laughs> That does sound like something you would say. <laughs> All right, just checking. Back in my day, doors were being blown off airplanes. Back in my day, the only doors being blown off were the ones in the KFC bathroom, because they just introduced something called the double down. <laughs> Those crazy cats used pieces of fried chicken as bread, which wasn't very fair to the chickens, if I may say. Excuse me. <laughs> Come to rehearsal, that's what I said. <laughs> chicken is bread, that's where we were, chicken is bread. I'm guessing one of the Colonel's secret spices is cocaine, because if you think that's a good idea, you're high as hell. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but sometimes this grumpy Gus has got to get his grape, and this has been back in my day. Woo!